So who am I speaking with? Uh, Chris Hoff. I'm the Director of Cloud and Virtualization Solutions for Cisco Systems Security Technology Business Unit. All right. Well, unfortunately, I missed your talk yesterday. I was at your virtualization yeah. security talk now, but uh, it had to do with, uh, my question is regarding data in a virtualization yeah. space and how it sits in a very different world than uh, if it was, you know, in your offices. So what uh, what is the state of data in a virtualization space and what are the issues you need to sort of deal with because of that? So to your point, actually, uh, the, the answer is, uh, is a resounding yes or no yeah. in terms of the differences between is, is data in different, uh, is data information, information security different in a virtualized context than it is in a non-virtualized context, or even cloud computing for that matter. Um, and, and Rich Mogul and I gave a talk called uh, uh, Winnovation, un Unleashing Security Zen in, uh, in Cloud Computing. Uh, and it was really focused on something we call information centricity. And we introduced this concept, or reintroduced it, since it's been around for quite a while, about uh, six years ago. It was actually the theme of last year's RSA, which is really focusing on information and data and securing it as opposed to all of the infrastructure that surrounds it. Because we, we tend to really talk about uh, fixing the information uh, security issue by uh, approaching it uh, by fixing infrastructure or applications, which are important, but when ultimately we, you know, we're, we're not focusing on, on, uh, on the element itself, it's kind of hard to secure it. So um, what's very interesting about, about your question is um, people tend to look at virtualization and cloud and think that for some reason there's an abandonment of everything we've done in the past, right? Uh, that, that there's some magical uh, virtualization or cloud pixie dust that gets sprinkled and you know, you're going you're gonna to be secure somehow. Um, certainly, we, we are gaining advantages given the models of virtualization and cloud because they're, they're fantastic forcing functions. What they do is they cause enterprises and information security officers to really focus on the things that matter most. And what I mean by that is they're coming uh, you know, face to face with the fact that if virtualization and cloud introduce the notion of mobility and portability of applications and content and the containers that hold them, then your ability to affect uh, security controls on something that could, could move today or tomorrow with very static approaches to doing that just no longer works. So what we're seeing now, the development or the uh, reinvestment in technologies that um, have been around for quite, quite some time, 10 plus years, uh, that focus on being able to take, pr uh, uh, discover, prototype, classify, uh, describe and apply uh, how information should be uh, treated as it moves around the network and to endpoints. And a lot of this technology is kind of would be classified as, uh, as let's say, cutting edge today, or even bleeding edge in some cases. But it's starting to show itself in operating system vendors like Microsoft with enterprise uh, digital rights, so uh, digital rights management. Uh, it's starting to show itself with the evolution of data loss and data leakage protection products, um, both in motion and at rest. Right. So, it, so really, what's interesting about the about the uh, about the question you ask is, is information security a problem? Absolutely. Uh, and it should really be the, the, our focus because, for example, you take an application or a, a virtual appliance uh, in the form of an, uh, an AMI and you put it on Amazon EC2, a lot of the, a lot of the um, competent controls you might use uh, in absence of what is actually provided by your infrastructure provider uh, aren't available either, just given the uh, maturity of that market space. So you're really left to start focusing on putting controls on the host and the information itself. Um, so long story short, if, if you're not invested in a risk management process where you understand, classify, uh, and are able to assess uh, uh, how you should treat and mitigate risk associated with information um, that is critical to you, you'll never understand what mobility will, will, will do to your, your security posture um, because you have no way of understanding how it's used, you don't understand process uh, flows, you don't understand how data is exchanged between applications or tiers or people or platforms. So you know, step one is it, it's a return to basics, a fantastic forcing function to make you say, you know, I need to really understand where my data and how my data is consumed. Then I can apply uh, uh, either technology, operational, or, uh, or procedural um, uh, controls and put those in place in, in order to, uh, to help me uh, protect the stuff that really matters most, which, strangely enough, is our information. Excellent, Christopher. That was awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.